Hey guys, it's Glenn from TechSnaps. Let's talk a little bit about Steam's in-home streaming, which is available for platforms like Windows and Mac, and allows you to play your Steam library on a totally different platform over your home internet. Now, I've got a 13-inch MacBook Air here, Core i7, with a Bluetooth keyboard, resolution 1440 by 900, and I'm playing Hawken which is amazing because it's only available for Windows right now and I'm getting about 30 frames a second. As you can see it looks great. Animation is smooth and sound is good. Excuse of gameplay, I'm holding the iPhone with one hand while trying to shoot with the other. All in all it looks really wonderful. This is rendering in real time. What about something like Battlefield 4 which is a non-native game? Um, it's only available on Origin but let's see what happens. Boom, it's going to error out for you. Unfortunately, you can't launch it directly, so we have a little bit of a workaround. How do we do that? Well, use WordPad as a non-Steam game launcher. So you add it to your Steam client, and when you double-click on it, you'll get the actual application WordPad running on your screen. But from there, what we do is we alt-tab directly into a running Battlefield 4 game. And when you do that, voila! You're in Battlefield 4, in all of its glory. So you'll be fragging before you know it on a MacBook Air. Uh, this is an earlier May build of the Steam, so what you see here is about 10 to 15 frames a second average, but it still looks amazing on this tiny screen, and sound is great, animation is really fluid. Again, excuse the terrible gameplay, holding the iPhone with one hand and shooting with the other doesn't work out very well. If you update your Steam client, you'll notice that the frame rates are much improved. Here, I went from ultra to medium settings graphically. Make sure you keep that Steam client updated for optimal performance. And another example of gameplay here we're just going to run that. Now, if you have a PC that's anything less than maybe a Core i7 3770, uh, you might get some stuttering, uh, especially if you don't have an SSD drive. Here we have about 30, about 27 to 30 frames a second average, so it's working really well. Animation's much improved over the earlier Steam client. Again, excuse the terrible gameplay. Uh, all in all, everything looks really wonderful. Now, my MacBook Air is a Core i7, and uh, it's, un it's running with 8 gigs of RAM with an SSD. The PC right now, the host PC, is a AMD quad-core with 8 gigs of RAM. Play, play, play. And once again, here's some more terrible gameplay for me. So, let's try something native like Watch Dogs, which is available for Steam. You can run this on medium settings, probably, to maximize rendering speed, and it looks wonderful. That noise you hear is the sound of the AMD quad-core PC trying to run. Yeah, this is the stock fans, sorry. But this is running at 30 frames a second all over the internet, which is 802.11 AC, and everything looks great. Graphics are wonderful, sound is great, it plays really well on a Mac. So, let me know how it runs for you. Leave a comment or share your videos.